Hi, this Senthil, also called as Stylesen in the internet. Of late, I got interest in OpenShift project by Red Hat, which is a platform as a service offering from Red Hat. This is a cloud uh, solution which Red Hat has come up with. In today's uh, demo or screencast, we are going to see how to deploy a web.py based application on OpenShift. I've created an application called Squeeze which we'll see how to deploy it on OpenShift and then see what how easy it is to onboard applications on OpenShift and specifically Python based web applications. So OpenShift is a cool and nice uh, cloud offering from Red Hat which helps us to do our work easily and also hassle free. So Squeeze is an application which is which is nothing but a URL shortener which will help us to sh shorten big URLs into small ones. So Squeeze is hosted on GitHub and the repository is located in this location github.com slash childson squeeze hyphen quick start. So this quick start is nothing but a open, open shift quick start which we'll use in order to like install or deploy squeeze application in OpenShift platform. So before going into how to deploy it, let's see how the squeeze application works with a sample instance which has been installed already. So this is the squeeze instance which is installed in OpenShift. So we give a long URL and press squeeze which redirects and gives us a short URL. This is a squeeze URL and there is an option to copy to clipboard where we'll copy this shortened URL and then if we enter this URL on the address bar, we get redirect to the original URL. We may see that the URL is bigger than what we expect, but it depends upon how we frame our domain name. And also there is an option to click on email where we can send email of this shortened URL with additional inputs, like additional message changes. So this is how the squeeze application work. So as you can see on the screen, so our email is sent. So this is about the squeeze application. We'll see how this application is installed in open squeeze easily. So this is how the email is being sent. So you can see on the screen, the email was sent to my email ID and we can reach the original URL via this email ID. Now let's get into OpenShift. This is a quick start for OpenShift in order to deploy the Squeeze application on the cloud. In order to install Squeeze, we need to have an OpenShift account. You can go to the OpenShift website, which is openshift.redhat.com and then create a new account. Since I've already created an account, I'm logging in with that. Once you sign in, you can have different links, which will give us the application list the account settings and things like that. So in this, via the web UI, we can create a new application, which could also be done from the command line. We'll see that later. We have an option of different web application frameworks through which we can create applications. We have Perl, PHP, Ruby, Python. So right now, we are interested in creating a Python 2.6 based application. So we give an application name and say create application. This will create all the necessary stuff for creating an application. What you see on the screen is the management console of OpenShift, which is a web-based console. There is an alternative which is called RHC, which is a command line client, which we'll use in order to deploy OpenShift and manage OpenShift applications from the command line. RHC is a client which is available in all platforms such as Debian, Fedora and different operating systems. So this is output of or help message of RHC. Using this client, we can do different stuff. The quick start explains how to create and manage an application via RHC command line client. So this is the first command. We need to create a container, a Python container in order to deploy our web application on the cloud. So we create an application. We name our application as SQ. So the hyphen A option takes in the application name and the hyphen T option is the type of the application which is nothing but Python 2.6 web application. And in all RHC command line clients, 
we need to supply a hyphen l option which is nothing but the rh login red hat login but since i've already put the red hat login credentials in the openshift express.conf file it is not required in order to supply the hyphen l option every time it is taken from a home directory from the express.conf file automatically so now the application is getting created on the cloud it is creating a container a python based container for our application in which we can deploy our code and our web application will be available in that container which we have created right now so it will also set up all the domain registration and propagate the domains across the world so that is what is being done on the screen apart from creating a python container we also require a mysql database so now we have a git url where the application which we created resides so this is the git url which gets deployed as part of the openshift cloud environment and the application url is sq-stylesen.rhccloud.com so we can have we can have a look at the folder structure that has been created it's a git clone where we have a wsga folder this wsga folder is the python folder in which our code resides and the next step in the quick start is creating a mysql database which we associate with this openshift application so each and every other additional things which we add to the application is called a cartridge in openshift so we are installing a mysql-5.1 that is a version 5.1 cartridge and attaching it to the application we just created since squeeze stores its data as part of mysql database we are creating this cartridge and we are associating this cartridge along with the application which we have created that is python based application so now the cartridge is getting created as you see on the screen we have an admin and a password and also the database created for us so this database is an empty database as a part of the deployment the deploy script will populate this database and the next step is to cd into the cloned git repository which we have already done so we are in this uh, squeeze uh, repository cloned repository and then we add an upstream repository which is nothing but the squeeze qu quick start so the squeeze quick start repository also contains the code for squeeze then the next thing is we need to pull the code from the squeeze repository so that's what is being done so now our application clone has got all the code required for running squeeze now we push this code back to the upstream repository or it's not the upstream repository it is to the openshift cloud platform so that's what we are doing here we git push so this git push not only pushes the code from a local to the openshift cloud it also deploys the application when i when i say deploy the application we have deploy scripts provided by openshift which we custom edited in order to deploy or create mysql databases populate databases and do different stuff in order to deploy the application in a proper format so that the application becomes up and running so now our application has been deployed on openshift and we have the application running on the cloud in order to access the application we have the url it is nothing but the application name hyphen your domain name dot rh cloud dot com so this is the application which we have de deployed right now we can see we give a long url and press squeeze it squeezed the url and gave us a short url and again the clipboard options to copy the short url also works as expected and the next thing is sending emails so let's see if we can send emails in a deployed application so we try to send an email to salesen@gmail.com when i click on send email it says email configuration is unavailable because email configuration is not a generic one we can't write it in deploy scripts it differs from installation to installation so we need to do something special in order to do the email configuration which is again given in the quick start file of squeeze so we have how to edit and edit the deploy file and give the email configuration this is how we deploy a openshift application written in python on the openshift cloud thanks for listening thank you